Welcome back. As we promised, we are going to commemorate uh, and celebrate with Egyptians the uh, 69th Police Day. Well, uh, the 25th of January was chosen to commemorate uh, the martyrdom of more than 50 police officers who were killed in Ismailia when uh, the Ismailia Directorate uh, was surrounded by uh, British uh, occupation soldiers and officers and they asked them to surrender, but our heroes did not do it. And unfortunately they lost their lives um, for the best interest of the Egyptian people of defending our uh, great people and our homeland so to shed more light on the occasion uh, we are very much delighted to have with us via phone Mr. Ihab Youssef our strategic expert a very good day to you sir and happy police day good day um, and, and I wish all the best for you and your audience and Egypt on this very special day that we are celebrating with very high pride and proud of what uh, the police uh, forces are doing and it. Amen to that, sir. Would you please uh, let's start by shedding more light on the occasion and why the 25th of January was chosen and how this day um, was a turning point in our modern history as it led to the uh, July 23rd revolution. Uh, in, in 1952, in January, uh, the, the police joined the, uh, the people in Ismailia and uh, the Suez Canal uh, cities mm -hmm. to uh, force the uh, British troops to leave our territory and uh, evacuate our land. Mm -hmm. and, and the police was uh, hand in hand working with the people to, to do this uh, magnificent uh, effort to the extent that the uh, British army wanted to, to break down their uh, efforts and they surrounded, as you kindly mentioned, the Ismailia district uh, uh, police directory, and they asked them to, to leave it, and, uh, uh, and, and, and they refused this with very high pride, and they kept into action with the uh, armed forces of the British uh, colony at the time. Mm -hmm. To the extent that uh, when they left the, the police station after this, it was uh, they were saluted from the British Army for the uh, in recognition of their efforts and the great uh, uh, brave uh, 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 things that they did. Mm -hmm. And 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 after that, it, uh, because of the martyrs that that had died today, that day, and the injuries and and the efforts that the police did with the proud they did, we we are always recognizing. It, it has been recognized as the police day since uh, January uh, 1952. Sir, you are a researcher when it comes to security science. Security now, it's a science. And I'd like to have your vision regarding the well-trained officers now we have, the soldiers we have, uh, how we are coping with the uh, most recent uh, techniques regarding this science, as I am, uh, as I am saying or stressing uh, this fact that security now uh, is a science, a science rather than anything else. No, you're totally right. It's, uh, it's a science. It's, uh, uh, it's more than... Uh and academic work and uh, training and high qualified uh, uh, equipment and technology and this is what we're coping up with now and we're very, we're very proud to say that the the, uh, the ministry of interior is developing uh, over the days and the, and the years to reach the highest level that they can ever do to be able to protect the egyptian people mm -hmm. this is one from another side if you know that uh, uh, all the terrorists and the, and the criminals are trying to develop their activities and trying to use the technology in doing their crimes at the day. And that's why the Ministry of Interior has to be upfront or taking one step ahead to be able to capture them and to prevent them from uh, taking advantage of our people and properties. And, and we are successful in doing this. And we're very proud to say that the Ministry of Interior is very successful in doing this. But it's still, it's, it's a long way to go. It, it's not, it's yes, not, uh, sure, it's, it's a long journey. It has, it has to be always continuing and, and developing. And, and this is what they're doing now. Sir? Our police officers now are studying crisis management, crisis management in the field of security. And this is only a part of the huge efforts exerted to turn it into a scientific methodology. Sir, let's go to another point, which is the relation between the people and our security personnel, and particularly with the police forces. How do you see the current relations, the, the deeply rooted ties, speaking all the time about the security forces as part of our people, the sons of our people defending our people? 
So you're, you're, you're very much uh, welcome to talk about this issue because uh, in certain days there was a gap between the police and the people. And this gap has been used from um, uh, NGOs and uh, external uh, bodies to highlight a gap and, and to create a, a, vacant, a vacant vacuum between the people and the police. But after the 20, uh, 25th of January 2011 revolution, where the people realized the importance of the police, and, and since the 2013 revolution, where they felt when, when, when the people uh, start recognizing the efforts and the amount of terrorist attacks that was happening and the people, the police was, was trying to combat them, taking action, the martyrs that has passed away and, and the people who got, the policemen who got injured, the, the, the men of the street recognized the efforts that the people, the police are doing and now we can see a great development in the relation between the people and the police to the extent that the police is counting on their uh, information. So yeah. that most of the information that comes to the police now uh, in relation to uh, criminal activities or terrorist activities comes from the normal man of the street because he trusts the police and he wants to, to uh, cooperate with his efforts to solve the problem and to protect our people. Dr. Yusuf, President Abdel Fattah Sisi was keen to pay more visits to the police. Hello? I think we lost... Um, Dr. Uh, Ihab uh, Youssef, uh, Dr. Ihab Youssef, the strategic expert we had uh, via phone to shed more light on our celebrations regarding the 25th of January Police Day. And I was talking about President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi who was keen to go and to attend himself uh, some of the tests of uh, the cadets, the students who are um, introducing their papers to join the police academy and to be the coming generation of officers, those who are going to be responsible for our internal security, our internal national security, to defend the nation, to defend the great Egyptian people against any outlaws, and to uh, fulfill the mission, their noble mission of uh, defending us um, um, on any cost. Unfortunately, many of them lost their lives, they sacrificed their lives. We have a lot of martyrs every single year. We do have a lot of martyrs, but uh, it was not in vain. What they have done is going to be re remembered forever, defending the country, the noblest mission ever. And if we are saying that our army is defending our borders and defending us from any external uh, attacks or terrorism or this stuff, the security personnel of the police their mission is not less important. They are two integrated missions to defend the Egyptian people and to defend our homeland. Also, the awareness campaigns and the uh, media campaigns to show the people um, um, the sacrifices and the heroic deeds of uh, police, I think this is also another important issue. And I'm going to ask this question to Mr. Yusuf, who is uh, with us once again. Mr. Yusuf, welcome back once again. And I was uh, speaking about the keenness of the political leadership of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to go himself and to attend some of the tests of these students who are introducing their papers to join the police academy, to talk with them, to speak with them about the noble mission they are going to uh, shoulder. How do you see these moves, sir? And how do you see um, these incidents to have a positive impact on our youngsters? It's a great honor to, to see the students of the, of the country uh, visiting the new students in the Ministry of Interior to give them uh, uh, recognition of their efforts, to, to show recognition to the families as well. And because this raised up the morale highly and made the people feel that they are recognized from the head of the state, which is a great honor that we are always proud of. And, and this is not the first visit. It has happened several times before. And, and, and I think that this is a new step that has been happening uh, recently with the President Sisi, and we're very happy with it. Yeah, sir, also media has a very important role um, to just give the people just an idea about the heroic deeds of the police forces, about what they are doing to defend the country. How do you see the media role, sir? Uh, the question again, I'm sorry. Sir, I was speaking about the media role to give just an idea to the Egyptian people how the police forces are sacrificing their souls to defend the country. No, we can't deny the efforts of the media uh, these days. I mean, these days is last uh, five, six, seven years. And the importance of it to convey the message to the people of the importance of the police and their efforts. 
And mm. this is a huge role that uh, you and your colleagues are doing, and we have to recognize this. And we're very proud of what you're doing because this gives a great morale uh, to, to the police people and, and their families and to the people on the street as well because they feel that every effort is recognized and celebrated. Well, Dr. Ihab Youssef, our strategic expert, thank you very much for your input, sir. Have a very good day and happy police day, sir. Well, uh, Egypt is celebrating. Egypt is celebrating the 69th, uh, um, 25th of January, the 69th Police Day. From uh, all Nile TV international staff, from all the crew of uh, our breakfast show, thank you very much for all the efforts uh, exerted by you to defend us and to protect us from any. Um, uh, outlaws or, uh, or criminals or all those who want to disturb or terrify the innocents. It's a big responsibility. It's a noble mission and you are fulfilling this um, to the maximum. Well, uh, now uh, we are going to go uh, live um, to celebrate with the head of state, with President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, how Egypt is celebrating this day, how Egypt celebrates the police day. The 25th of January is going to be a day to remember in our modern history. Uh, let's go and watch. And this was Nirmin Abdurrahman. <laughs> لما 